What's up, buds? How's it hanging? I'm Greg. I'm Bob. And today we're back to play more Gears of War 3. When we last left off, we had just taken down a Brumac, Prescott died, and now we gotta explore this island full of savage locusts. But before we do, if you like our faces, leave us a like, and if you wanna subscribe, then you should subscribe, man. You should do it. You should totally do it. Please and thank you. So without further ado, let's play some more Gears 3! <laughs> That's a lot of blood. That is. Somebody was on my period. <laughs> <laughs> they had heavy flow that day. Could you imagine if that much blood came out of your Can't vagina? <laughs> that that uh, would be scary. Especially because it's still down here. I mean, first of all, you'd have to have a vagina, but... You know. Well, maybe I do. You never know. <laughs> Nowadays, I could have a vagina. Yep. Dude, TikTok has told me don't ever trust what the hell so <laughs> Like, uh, there's this one Minecraft YouTuber. I think well, her name is Finster now. See, the, the pronoun thing is so weird for me because, like, it's just hard for me to remember. Yeah. Like, it's nothing else but that. Like, I don't want to disrespect nobody, but that shit's hard to remember. It, it's and it's it's just not what we're used to. Yeah, and it goes against everything that you're taught like, yeah. since birth. Like literally. Shoot it in its butt and then shoot it in its face. I hit it with a digger. That's probably the best thing to use against this thing. I just want to clarify that we're joking, obviously. Yeah. I feel like you have to say that nowadays, but we're obviously joking. You have to take everything we say when recording with a grain of salt. Exactly. Like, I... Nobody can really say anything about my sister. Is, yeah. Problem. Anybody knows my, my little sister knows I'm highly tolerant of that shit. Yeah. We don't say stuff to her. We just joke around. Exactly. She jokes around with me. So. And if stuff, like, offends people then and they tell us, we don't do it. Exactly. I think that's the way it should be, you know? Yeah. Like, I accept everybody, but, like, some people can't accept me for how I am. Exactly. Know? Yeah, everyone. Yeah. I don't mean to hurt people. I just have, like, a, a darker, you know, sense of humor. A lot of people have the mentality nowadays of people need to change because of me. Yeah. And that's what I'm not about. Like, I don't mind changing my views if you can give me a good, solid point. I, like, I'm not Republican, I'm not Democrat, or nothing like that. Like I, I just believe in being a good person. Exactly. And I think that's what a lot of people miss nowadays. Yeah. And what I do for, you know, what I do out in public and shit, it's for, I do it for the better of everybody, not just myself. Yeah. Oh, I should've got that digger. I think that's one reason that I don't get along with people that are like in their 50s and onward. I feel like they're so closed minded. I can see that. I try to give them the benefit of the doubt but then you hear them say some crazy stuff and you're like oh okay I'm not comfortable with that. Yeah. I see that. I don't know that's one oh a guy that I work with that I started working with he uh me and him was kind of talking about the same thing we're talking about now. And he's an older cat. I want to say he's probably like maybe early 40s. So about 10 years older than us. Next generation of them. Yeah, I mean, obviously everybody's not the way that I'm describing. Yeah. But like older people are more likely to be that yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. Like I, there's quite a few people that work with you at Shell. Yeah. And it's like, I don't care. All I care about is... You don't judge people for stuff they don't deserve to be judged for. Exactly. There's a door over here. Cool. It won't let me interact with it. What there, are we supposed to be doing? I think there's another enemy. Find out where the gas barges are headed. Okay. They're standing over here. Is it here. messed up? Did it Did it glitch or are we just dumb? Oh no, here we go. We're supposed to go down. Okay, here. we're just dumb. <laughs> I was wondering, like, wait, why are they just standing there? Let's oh, there's move. a gate up there. No! Oh the my, game, no, my the god! Game was just dumb. I thought that was backwards. Okay. Wow. Okay. I don't you... think I've ever had that happen in this game before. Not that I remember. Give me a hand! I'm working on it. 
Can I tell you about the random dream I had like a couple weeks ago? I don't think so. Oh, it was pretty funny. I had a dream where like I was peeing everywhere because I had to really pee. And like I woke up, but then I went back to sleep instead of going pee. And that's why I was having the dream that I was pissing everywhere. Uh it was one of the weirdest dreams I had ever had, and when I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. Like, if there was people there, I was pissing in stuff, on stuff. It was weird, dude. Sounds like it. And I remember it vividly. I don't know why I just didn't go pee. I don't know how I didn't piss the bed. <laughs> I can't even lie, like, I did have a similar dream at Newport. I woke up pissing. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I mean, that's a thing. Like, uh, apparently, like, kids that wet the bed will often uh, be peeing in their dream whenever they're peeing. Did you know any bed wetters growing up? Uh, I don't remember if I did. There was one in my family. I'm not going to say who, but there was one in my family. <laughs> I can't remember if I did or not. I know f***ing did. I mean, it's nothing to be embarrassed about if you did piss the bed no. when you were a kid. Yeah, you should probably bleep out who I just said. I didn't even pay attention to who you said. I said a name, but just bleep it out, please. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I remember somebody in my family that oh, it definitely was, now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, yeah. Like... It's just one of those things that happens. I wonder what really causes it. Because that I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, See, that's... She, growing up in the household... They grew up in, I would say, a high stress, mm. even as a child. Oh, is it? Could it possibly just be a thing where they should be like going to the bathroom before going to bed? Okay. Uh, I know that's what they ended up doing. Was like not letting them have pop or like uh, anything to drink, not just pop. Not letting them have anything to drink past a certain point. See, that makes sense to me. Damn, that was a dead end. That like was. A, I don't know what I was trying to say. I just got that dude dead. <laughs> the Nat from episode three is back. <laughs> Fuck ah! that Nat, man. It's also an Eminem song. Fuck that Nat. Or Nat, yeah. It's actually a pretty good Eminem song. It is. Dude, his whole new album, like both sides of it were good, man. Yeah, he's definitely back. Yeah. He found his rhythm again. Actually, I was watching an interview, and why his like albums were different, so different, is because he uh, apparently he actually had to teach himself like how to flow again and everything else after getting clean. Look at all this like I can see that. Yeah, like it didn't come naturally to him at all. He had just years of writing while he was messed up on stuff. Yeah, drugs were his muse, and it's kind of like me with playing drums. Like it made me feel not as left out. Like, oh shit, okay, I'm not the only one that had something similar happen and lost my musical talent. Oh, what? Yeah, you just talent like. Had. You just need to start practicing again, that's it. Yeah. You just need to put the time in. Yeah. That's all it is. I was it's weird, but it's like your body memorizes stuff. So like, if you were on a substance while learning something, it it actually is harder to recall when you're not on it. Yeah. Like, that's actually a thing. And, yeah, it's back in the day, and I, and I did a lot of stuff that I don't do nowadays. So. Yeah. Anyone up for a hijack? Yeah. First class yeah, it's to Gate. Definitely. Uh, Let's do it. I don't know. I just remember like me and you walking into Willis Music and you picking up the guitar and me getting on them electronic drums with the fucking speaker and shit. Me and you just be able to play along with each other. <laughs> Willis Music is awesome. They were always pretty tolerant of us playing. They would sit there and watch us. Yeah. I know. Anytime I would go to Guitar Center, I'd be playing. People would just be like walking by, like looking at me and stuff. Yeah. Made me feel good. Shit! He's headed for the horn. I mean, you're the one that you played the gu oh, the guitar outro for us. Like, yeah. That's a pretty simple thing. That's pretty cool. Oh, speaking of, Clayton said anytime you want to actually record music, you are more than welcome to use his recording equipment. I would love to have a way to actually record music. He has. It's one thing I've never been able to do. I mean, it's a rudimentary, like, setup and stuff. Like, he has mattresses and stuff set up for a sound booth, but, it, I mean, he has stuff set up for it. He does have a modified sound booth set up. <laughs> Damn, these dudes are taking, like, no damage. Really? I shot them from, like, this far away with the Lancer, and they died in, like, one shot. Are we, like, stealthing in gears? I don't know. There's a shit ton of, uh... 
sniper rifles back there. I guess they give you the option. So how are we supposed to open the gate? Tigger. Am I tripping? What are we supposed to be doing? It just tells us to go here. Enter the Logos Stronghold without setting off the alarm. <laughs> but yet, here's a mortar. <laughs> Did I glitch it out by taking the dudes out? No, nah, okay. There's there another go. dude. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna let him fucking set the alarm and see what happens. There. We can talk now, Baird. I think they've seen us. Good. Yeah, I don't know how else we were supposed to open the gate. Oh, God. Okay. Probably should have at least been on the cover. <laughs> the Nat's attacking me now. He's just a part of the episode. I want to be famous. We're not even famous. I've always said, like, I'd love to make a living from doing this. But, like, my intentions aren't to get rich. You yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. I would love to be able to be able to give myself and my family a good life from this. Yeah. Trust me, I completely get that. Plus my normal job sucks. Shit, they're coming from behind us. <laughs> yeah. Most of our subscribers know. Yeah, a lot of you do come into my work. I still remember the guy, I don't know if he still watches our videos, but trust me, I still remember, like, if you do watch them, I still remember, uh, whenever I was delivering pizzas, man, I delivered to this one of our subscribers, and he was, like, just so blown away that I, like, showed up at his door, man, and, like, that will always stick with me. Yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty, like, quiet dude, but, like, if you guys were to come up to me and talk to me about the channel and stuff, I would definitely have a conversation with you, but I'm just socially awkward. Yeah, same. And I'm the type to, like, I don't talk unless I'm talked to. We should probably, uh, l let me just spell this one out for people. Me and Greg went to the exact same high school. We worked at the exact same job. And we started hanging out because we rode the bus together. Or the same tank bus. Yeah. And that's only because it was really full one day. And I'm like, oh, okay, I know this guy from work. I need to sit down here. And we randomly just started talking about music. Yeah, and I, I was way over. I was way more open to people back then, though, for sure. Okay, split I didn't have as many crazy people come in and out of my life true. at that point. That is very true. Besides my family, like you're pretty much the only person I have in my life. I feel that. I don't know if we've ever said it on the channel, but we've known each other for like 13 or 14 years at this point. Oh god, there's a fucking cleaver guy. I yeah, got him. I almost got down. I got him. Nah, uh, yeah, we've known each other for years and years and years. Definitely over a decade working on two. Yeah. And no, we don't live together. I know some of you have thought that. That's nah. why we can only record like one or two days a week at most. Yep. Especially now that it, like everything's even a little bit weirder because I only work Monday through Friday. Yeah. So now we're having to switch thing like a recording day off. Yeah, we used to record on Wednesdays. Now it looks like it's going to be Sundays. Shit! I meant to, <laughs> I meant to get in the cover. Oh no, I'm going to die! Unless I can talk Greg into coming to work with me, and then we can record two days a week. Oh. That would be a benefit. I just don't think like I'm suited for that type of job. Yeah. I don't know, that, that's another thing, like, me and uh, Sarah was even talking about yesterday, is, uh, like, it's just kind of like, my family does, has done blue collar work all my life, you know what I mean? I just need something, like, mentally stimulating. Like, that's my problem. It's definitely mentally, st I don't know if it's mentally stimulating, but it's definitely, like, it keeps your mind sharp because how much shit's going on. Because if one thing fucks up, you're dead. And you won't even know that you're dead. Yeah, but, like, <laughs> from what you had, had described to me, it just sounds like it's a mundane task. I know, well, yeah, because you're it just... It would just be repetition, and uh, repetition is, like, one of my biggest enemies. I would say the only big difference between me and, like, an order picker from, like, Amazon Warehouse... Yeah. ...is the fact that I use heavy machinery. I didn't mind, um, shipping and receiving when I did that at Groupon. That wasn't bad. I, that's pretty much <clears> all you're doing, but with machi uh, heavy machinery, like cranes and forklifts and shit. And forklifts are so fun to drive, dude. I think the reason that didn't bother me as much is because I, it was everything was different. Like, because we had to take the boxes, open them up, 
Yeah. Make sure everything was in there, count it, and then like reseal it, put the tag on. So yeah, that's shit that we do. Yeah, like instead of like with opening a box or something like that, like we go out and grab the kind of material that we need from the material master number, and then we bring it back to the uh, thing. If they they need ten sheets of it, all right. Well, there's fucking seven sheets on this one and seven sheets on the other one. It's like all right. Well, we need to put them together and take four off the top of it and fucking you know run with the rest. Mm. Yeah. And then we all bundle that up, put it on a skid, put it up front, we're ready for the trucks to get loaded at night. Yeah, I wish my brain wasn't wired the way it is, man. I get bored way too easily. I have to be doing something. And I have trouble doing shit that I don't want to do. <clears throat> that is a big problem with me. Like, if I don't want to do it, I'd, I'd want nothing to do with it. <laughs> And if I get forced to do it, it makes me unhappy. Yeah. And like I hate that I'm I hate that I'm that way, but I've always been that way, man. Now where the fuck are we going now? I think we're supposed to be going straight ahead. Okay. There was actually a story from when I was like I was either in kindergarten or preschool. Where the teacher was trying to teach me my ABCs, but I already knew them, and I refused to say them. I was like, my mom already taught me my ABCs, and like she tried to like grab me to put me in like timeout or something, and I bit the crap out of her. Like I actually drew blood on this lady. Damn. Yeah, it was bad. I got kicked out for a year. I still remember the story your mom tells me about whenever he was getting off the bottle. Fucking, oh, yeah. He screamed and cried. Yeah. He screamed and cried for a fucking bottle for hours and hours and hours, and she finally gave it to you just for you <laughs> to throw it down. Like, I don't even want it no more. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> There's another time where, like, me and my grandma were going somewhere, and she was driving, and she accidentally hit a possum. And I was like, Grandma, did you just hit that possum? She was like, Yeah. I was on accident though, and I was like, didn't it see your turn signal? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. She used to talk about that all the time. I miss my grandma. She was a good woman. Yeah. You never got to meet I her. I never got you? to meet her. No. You never got to meet her or my uncle. No, I'm, your uncle passed away shortly after. It was like right before, when I yeah. first met you. Yeah, it was like right before we met. Because I had invited you to my 18th birthday party, and that's when it happened. It was literally. Oh, that's the day right. Because I was birthday. working. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I was working and shit. That's yeah. You came up drunk as shit. <laughs> yeah, we, like we didn't know know each other yet, but we had like just met at work. Yeah, like we was like we had hung out at this point, but like we wasn't nearly as close as friends as we are now. I don't even think we had hung out at that point. Oh really? Yeah, I think I knew Jeremy better than you at that point. I hope he's doing okay. I don't know if he watches these videos or not. If so, I hope you're doing okay, man. Hell yeah, I haven't heard from you in a while. Yeah. There's a few people that we used to work with where stuff didn't end up too great for, and it sucks. Tell you, I ran into Brandy. Mm mm. And she, uh, it was about a year ago. You talking about, like, Jeremy's Brandy? Yeah, Jeremy's ex Brandy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was about a year ago. She was working at the Arby's up the street here. Oh, wait, yeah, you did tell me that. Yeah. And she was looking good and shit. I think she was the manager there. I'm always happy to hear people are doing well. Yeah. Especially, it seemed like, especially that McDonald's crew, like, there was only four or five out of the 30 that we, like, associated with that actually, like, did anything. Yeah. That was a good crew. That was probably the best crew I ever worked with, honestly. Did we were we? all, like, super close. Yeah, we all, like, partied with each other on the weekends and everything. Like, it was cool. Yeah, even the people that didn't get along with each other still, like, had respect for each other and stuff. Yeah. Martin. 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 He was cool. Oh, I forgot that they actually apply the explosives to the tickers. Oh. That's cool. Look at him swinging. Can I shoot the... Oh, you can shoot the chains. That's cool. Ah, that's cool. Boop, 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 boop. All right, back to the handburst. That's kind of like the uh, the lamps on Resident Evil 4 that you can shoot down. Oh yeah. Bring it on. I know initially for either 
this one or the second one, they were talking about having like fully destructible cover. And I'm so mad that they never implemented it. They like, might they, have. they kind of did. Like even like in this game, like you can destroy some of it, but you can't like completely eliminate the cover. Yeah. And like they're talking about uh, being able to like stick grenades on walls and then blow up the grenade to have a hole in the wall and stuff like that. Really? that yeah, that would have been amazing. That would have. The only game I know that's like that is a uh, Rainbow Six Siege, right? Yep. Yeah, and I literally spent forty dollars on that game to play once and get into yelling match with somebody I didn't know over the internet. Yeah, that's one of those games that's super hard to get into. Dude, it was so toxic. Yeah. Like, I'm talking about, like, this dude was sitting there yelling at everybody, like, oh, how you don't want to die and shit, while he was the first one to die every fucking round. first freaking match, bro. Yeah, and it was a beginner lobby, too. That's the thing, too. Like, because they actually have beginner lobbies. Huh. That's probably one of those games that you had to be there from the beginning to even stand a chance. More likely. But the TikTok videos are cool. Like, people clutching and shit. It's really cool. Oh, yeah, I can imagine that the, like, competitive play is awesome. Oh, yeah. I like it more than CSGO, and I'm probably going to get attacked in the comments for that one, but... I don't even know what CSGO is. So. Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike? Yeah, Counter-Strike Global <laughs> Offense. Is that the one where, like, the graphics aren't that great? Yeah, dude, it's... Yeah, it came out in, like, 2003. That's what I thought. Okay, yeah. I know what you're talking about. And But it's, like, one of the fucking largest leading... It's kind of like a Doom-type playing style? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep, TBS actually follows it, like, a lot. It's like one of their main like pro gaming things. It's so cool though that TBS, like a main cable network channel, like has dedicated fucking days where they play like gaming videos. That is pretty cool. Cause there was like only one channel back in the day that did that stuff. G4. Yeah, G4. They brought it back. It just recently went under. It went under again? Yeah, it went under. The completionist was working for him. Yeah, for I wonder what happened. Well, they just went under. He was like on a Game Grumps episode, and he was like, "Yeah, so uh, the last time I was on here, I was still working at G4, <laughs> and then they fired me." Like, damn, that sucks. How the hell you don't fire the completionist? He probably just did it because he had respect for you know it being like one of the first video game things. Yeah. Because everybody's like opinion of G4 was kind of like honorary. I didn't mind it. Just, well, probably just because it was something on video games on TV. Yeah. That's all we had. Or I didn't even have it. All I had was gaming magazines back in the day. I had it for a little bit. Like, but it was, G4 was always one of those premium channels. Like, literally, I had to beg my mom for it. <laughs> I was so poor as a kid. Like, if you had cable, I thought you were freaking rich. I remember getting satellite, and we had to put it in my name when I was like 16. I know. I remember specifically one time my uncle laughing because like I called him rich, but just like in comparison to like the type of life I was living back then with my mom, they seemed rich as hell, man. Yeah. I didn't have crap. Trust me, I get it. Going from like my mom, like living with just my mom during like my middle school years to go with my grandparents during my high school years it was so fucking weird dude yeah, that's not me talking trash on my mom either like there was some resentment there for a long time but it's pretty much gone like we still don't have like a super close relationship but I don't hold anything against her you know yeah I think that's just one of those things where everybody has to realize if they have like a a messed up relationship with their parents like, it takes a while, but you just gotta realize that they were doing the best they could, even if it was messed up. Yeah. There's a lot of... There's a lot of positive things that come from growing up the way I did, too. You know? It's not all negative. Oh, yeah, definitely. It made me a lot stronger and more uh, independent. Yeah. Definitely a lot more street smart. <laughs> Growing up around like unsavory type people has allowed me to be able to like suss them out very quickly. Yeah. So I thought it was funny. One of my new uh, bossmen, he came down late. He's literally my superintendent's boss. Yeah. And as soon as I seen him, man, he came in with that pretty boy fucking smile and shit. All you know, pretty white ass teeth and fucking. I'm like. 
And he's uh, as soon as he started talking, he's like, well, on my spreadsheet, we got... I'm like, man, I already, I already see how you are. <laughs> it's funny how, like, there are certain tells that translate between the people. Yeah. Honestly, it reminded me of Kenny. Mm, one of those guys. Yeah. He's a, well, apparently he used to be a salesman for the company. I'm like, I could see it. <laughs> I like being athletic and stuff, but I would I would classify myself as like an athletic nerd. I like I mean I can get into sports. But like I didn't even watch the Super Bowl. I, don't I like, had the Super Bowl all this year and I didn't even watch it. I can't get into watching sports. I loved playing sports though. I remember me, you and Cricket used to play oh watch football every Sunday. But that was mainly because yeah. he would just randomly show up at my house. Yeah, I was about to say, like, I would watch it because you guys wanted to. I enjoyed, like, the social aspect of it. Yeah. I used to get into football, dude. That yeah, was... I, d I didn't care about the games, though. That's the difference between me. Like, I didn't care. That is one thing I can say is, like, I definitely got into the games. Like, I think if the Bengals won, I would be like, oh, hell yeah. But, like, I w it wouldn't, like, change my life like it would a lot of people's. Yeah. I would definitely like to see the Bengals win. Like, go to the Super Bowl. And so, win. Oh, hell yeah, our, like, home team, you know, actually did something. <laughs> but that's about as far as it would go for me. And I just think it's funny, because you know, the Bengals were actually, by Sports Illustrated, was ranked the worst team out of any sport ever. Oh, really? Yes. I, was, I could see that back in the day. They were pretty terrible. We always had, like, we had, like, good people... But we would have like something about our team that was so awful. We didn't have good coaching staff, and Paul Brown just didn't care. That's true. It's like, oh, we would have like a good running back and you know good receivers and everything, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I forget where I was going with it. But like our defensive line would suck. You know, our defensive line sucked for years. I think it just recently got better. But then again, I haven't paid attention to football, so maybe I'm just talking out of my ass, but I'm pretty sure that's how it was. I know... I don't know. Like, I've always been a strong believer in, like, the offensive line. Offensive line will make or break your team. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of, It's the offensive line. I know our defense. offensive line fucking used to be trash. It used to be absolute. I think that might be what I'm thinking of. I think I just switched them. And that's... That leads back to, like, Romo. No, 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 Like, you remember Tony Romo, the quarterback for the Cowboys? Cowboys? Yeah. yeah. Like, dude, he the reason why he was such, like, rated such a good quarterback. And I ain't dig dogging him as a quarterback. He's, I ain't mean, a he's, good quarterback. Even I know he's good. It's just, he's he had, probably overrated a little bit. But that's the thing. His offensive line gave him, uh, on average, 10 seconds in the fucking pocket. Oh, yeah, that's ten. Okay. Yeah, that's fucking huge, dude. I would hate to see any quarterback, especially at the NFL League, that couldn't do anything with 10 seconds in the pocket. You, yeah, I was about to say, if you, have, if you have that long in the pocket and, like, you throw an interception, there's something wrong with you. Yeah. Because like, you should have been able to scan, like, the entire field. You got plenty of time to scramble out if you need to. You got plenty, like, you got time to let the play develop. You got time to set up maybe with an offensive line that's giving you time like that. You can set up longer plays. Don't come after me again. I'm going to die. I don't know. It... I don't know. Offensive line to me just makes or breaks the team. And now that we actually got had an all like a decent offensive oh. no, line, look, we made it to the AFC Championships again. We have done pretty good uh, these last two years. Exactly. I remember both years, everybody, because the way it started out, everybody thought, said we wasn't going to do shit. Remember because we started out like two and four or something like that. Yeah. Or two and three. And Even then we I went. thought we weren't going to do uh, good this year just from what I heard from people initially. Yeah, and then they fucking like went on like a fucking nine game win streak. <laughs> we got all your eyes. Whoa! <laughs> Why did it all of a sudden act like it's on crack? I like we shot out his eyes. It wasn't freaking out about the first three, but the really? last one's like, ah, fuck! <laughs> I'm truly blind. Is it gonna get smashed? Is that how it died? Ooh! Well, whoa! Okay, run, 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 run! Oh no! It almost took me out. Hell yeah! We did it, bro. 
Ah-ha! You did it, bro! Boom! Boom! Corpse are down! He did! Hell yeah, pull that lever, Dom. I like Dom's look in this game. He does look cool. I like the beard. I was about to say that, I dig the beard. You gotta fly. Oh! The hell is that? It's fluffy. It's that lady's grandma. Mm. I'm gonna fuck you up. It's him. Alert the fleet. Who else did you think it was? At full readiness. And make sure we don't lose him again. I had always thought they had kind of like a hive Dude, mind. She's still alive? So not. How the hell did she survive the flood? So, she's still running the show. Oh shit! Look at the size of that book. The way they take her out at the end of this game is kind of lame. It's very anticlimactic. Well, I mean, I guess I get why they did it. I'll talk about it more when it happens. But now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of get it. Okay, let's take these things out, and then I think that should be where we can end the episode. Oh, that was that was an enemy that pushed against me, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, thank God for shotguns. I gotta try to run up close to them. Luckily, we're on casual. I was about to explode that freaking barrel next to you. Please don't. Haha! <laughs> hammer burst ammo. Is that all? Oh, nope. Oh, the flying ticker thingies. Yeah, I don't remember what those things are called. Flickers! <laughs> nice. Oh god, the hell was oh, that? Nice. It was a flicker! <laughs> a flying ticker? Alright, I guess we should stop here. I hate stopping in a place like this, but I don't want this video to be super long. We're still oh, getting attacked. We are still getting attacked. <laughs> Alright, let's kill these guys and then we'll end it. Oh, they got torpos. Oh, we can get torpos? Let's just clear them out and get to the tower. Where are they? There they are. Is that it? Torpo. <laughs> Last time I thought it was it, more came out. Wait for the music. Okay, I'm just gonna call it. My butt itches. <laughs> nice. Alright guys, that's a pretty random spot to end the episode, but I didn't want this episode to run super long. So, uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, we'll be back soon with more Gears of War 3. But until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and do you. Peace, Nuggets. Peace. <laughs>